Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mammal and Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. This is a collective love reading for all signs. If you found this message, it's meant to be heard. And for any sign of the person that you may be thinking of, please use this reading to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that's come into your life. Welcome everybody, welcome back. Let's see what Spirit has, it's a fully channeled message. Spirit, please share with me any messages of guidance for anyone who has found this reading today. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have the keeper of follow through, okay? The follow through, look at her. She's, she's carrying a lantern and she's kind of like following her own path here, this own journey. Let me see if I can get this to to um, focus. There we go. So she's following her own path. She's following her own lan lantern. You know, what are the promises that you've kept to yourself? And are you keeping those promises is how it's how it's coming into me. Are you keeping those promises? The keeper of innocence. I want to be good to myself is how that just came into me. I want to be good to myself. I want to um, I mean, I want to use the word pure, innocent. Um, I don't want drama and crazy in my life. You know, is there something as simple as just having a simple, normal life? You know, like, and that's a part of an innocence, like the innocence of a child or um, that you believe that things could be good again. You know, something like that. Let's see what else the keeper of transformation. You are about to transform. Look at how gorgeous this card is. The keeper of transformation. How about that light shining in and it's just kind of cascading over you? This, this transformation. And then the keeper of the flow. There you go. Letting it flow, letting it flow to you, letting the universe work for you. I love this big giant tree with these steps and a doorway and just letting, you know, what does spirit have for you, you know, in the literally the tree of life, right? What is, what does spirit have? Spreading your, spreading your, your branches, putting down roots, keeper of transformation. I like that. And also I like this, um, a sense of promises you made to yourself, you know, what are the promises you've made? What, you know, what's important to you? What are, what are the things that, that you're looking for in a relationship? You know, what won't you allow into your energy ever again? You know, those would be the types of promises I feel like spirit wants to ask you today. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Please remember to hit that like button, comment below. Let's see what Spirit has. Spirit, tell me about this transformation. I like this in the flow. I have a chariot. Somebody, somebody charging towards you. I have a lover's card right out of the gate. Gorgeous. All right. So do I have a soulmate energy charging in? How beautiful. What do you have for us, Spirit? Three of Pentacles and a Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups feels like go with the flow to me because you're almost where you want to be. You're almost where uh, you're, you're very close to that Ten of Cups. So it's like, you know what? All of my wishes are being fulfilled. I couldn't be happier. I'm very happy with this person. Let's take a look at this chariot and let's take a look at this this um, lover's card for sure, because I want to know that the person who's put on my path is going to continue to move forward, is going to re reach its destination is how it just came into me. So I have this beautiful energy of what is it that is important to you? Because you made promises to yourself at, you know, whether it was after the last relationship or after the last couple of relationships, like I will never allow that kind of energy into my life again. I will never date somebody again that treats me a certain way. So in comes this lover, this soul connection that, that does respect you and does give you a feeling of we have it all or we could have it all. And um, I could be really happy with you. So we just need to get there. There's the ace of ace of cups. And I have a two of wands. 
So as we come out of the hermit, okay, as we come out of the hermit, spirit puts us into the wheel of fortune, which is fate and destiny. And, and we go from, you know, number nine to number 10. So it's a feeling of you're coming out of something. Okay. And what you're coming out of is a process or self, um, discovery, something like that. And you are realizing that your heart is open again and, and open to loving again and open to what the future has for you is, is this two of wands. It's, it's, I'm just going to think about, you know, what is best for me and what the future has for me. But right now, the promises that you made to yourself, I feel like are coming true. I have a four swords. You've, you've taken the time. Good for you. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You know, you don't have in a in a Knight of Pentacles. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. You can take care of yourself. Is how it's coming in very clearly right now. Okay, it's if you want to be alone, be alone. If you feel like you're not ready for a relationship, it, it will come to you in divine timing. You're not going to put any effort into searching. Then that's what I want you to do. You don't have to prove anything to anybody today. You've already made up your mind that you know what it is that you want. And spirit has, is listening. Spirit knows what you want. And I feel like spirit's ready to bring you those things. Page of Pentacles. A lot of pentacle energy today. Your independence is very important today. Your financial secure, security, something along those lines. Um, an emperor. I have strength coming in and I have a king of pentacles. People who are strong and financially secure and doing well for themselves want to be with somebody who are, is also independent and insecure, insecure also. So you guys are attracting to each other, whether you are in the same fields or you have comparable jobs, you have similar educations, you're at the same value. You have, you have the same values. You have the same uh, goals and dreams in life, something along those lines. Let's see what else they have. Bottom of my deck, I have a queen of cups. I love this. <laughs> These cards are great. Um, look at look at the little fish, you know, like the fish and, and the, the overflowing emotion, the waves of emotion coming in, you know, so this person is going to open up something inside of you that I feel like, I don't want to say has been trapped, but has been missing in your life. Like this is what's been missing. And uh, you, maybe you just weren't ready. Um, maybe you just weren't ready for, you know, this kind of energy yet, or it's just your turn. But this is what's been missing is this kind of overflow of emotion, or I'm, I'm really feeling something for someone. And I really want to be with this person. Spirit, share with me. What is it that you have? I have ex exact ex L Exaltation. Exaltation. I'm going to have to look that up. Exaltation. I'm not sure what that even means. It looks like I'm excited about it. <laughs> I guess an abundance of something. I feel like I'm in bloom and I feel like it's um, an abundance of something. Resourcefulness. Okay. I am resourceful. You are independent. You are independent. You are um, taking care of yourself, taking care of your children. For those of you that are single parents, it, it's just a matter of time that you feel like you have a true partner, a partner that you can share that, that I help you and you help me energy. Ostentatious. Okay. Moving forward, you know, just this feeling of, I, I feel like slow and so slow and steady and I'm not giving up. Okay. Um, rebellion not what did they say in the beginning you made promises to yourself okay there's a sense of i can take care of myself i'm i'm slow and steady i'm not giving up on something i'm not going to fight with somebody um i no longer want to be battling you know with somebody in my in my energy so i feel like you've already made up your mind as to what it is that's important to you you've had losses you know what it feels like to give your heart. You know what it feels like to have a broken heart. So you're not willing to settle for anything less than somebody who really wants to be in a relationship. 
And that queen of cups is ready to release those emotions. I get it. Risk. I've got a key to your heart. Okay. Taking a risk. We talk about that a lot. You know, the right person is going to be worth putting, putting the effort into. It's not going to be a waste of your time. And you're going to realize that this is what's been missing in my life. And then your health. Yeah, your peace of mind. Like there's a lot of energy in this these particular cards for me about, you know, you know what's best for you. You know what is... Um, what's going to work for you and what's not going to work for you. Okay. Let's see what else they're saying. Spirit, you know, sometimes it takes us a while to figure that out. You just, you know, you, you, it's, I don't want to say it's trial and error, but it does feel a little bit of a trial and error. Every time we have a relationship that doesn't work out for one reason or another, it's like, well, I'll never do that again. Or I don't want to be with that, that type of person again, you know, so you've learned I have prosperity, gorgeous. You are uh, receiving this abundance. Th this, this particular card has like coins in the back or this looks like abundance of money flowing into you. So, I mean, I, I'll take that in a love reading <laughs> anytime, but spirit just keeps proving to me in this reading that the one of the things that is going to be important in this connection is that you are independent, that you're financially independent, that your person's financially independent, and that you guys find each other for, for reasons because you want to be together. So I feel like you're going to be on the same level, um, you know, as far as uh, careers or abundance flowing in, something like that. Financial, yeah, your financial health. You know, there's so many people out there that can't support themselves. And the only reason why they want to be in a relationship with somebody is because they're looking for somebody to take care of them. And that's not going to be you. OK, you're not interested in just like, you know, somebody that just wants you to pay their bills. And you want somebody that's financially healthy. You want somebody who's emotionally healthy. You want somebody who's physically healthy. I mean, all of those things are very important. Beautiful. They see you as beautiful. Inside and out is coming into me. They're attracted to your beauty. I love that. And there's great passion. I, I want somebody who is attracted to you and the passion. Look at the fire. Look at the beauty. You know, I love you no matter what. I, I mean, this person is looking at her reflection and she's feeling that she's beautiful. She's feeling that she is amazing. She loves what she sees. So you want to be with the person who, you know, sees everything about you, you know, just finding, finding the best qualities in you. Spirit, tell me more about this connection. Right now they're feeling, um, I, I feel like today's reading is, whoa, today's reading is a lot about um, you knowing what you want, okay? You knowing what is best for you, you knowing that um, you can take care of yourself and that's not why you want to be in a relationship. Not that you need to be reminded of those things, but believe it or not, the person who's coming into your life is going to love that about you. They're going to love that you are independent and can take care of yourself. You know, they, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for somebody that's, that is um, secure as well. So as much as you want security, they do as well. I have a five of swords. Nine of Cups. I have an Eight of Cups. I have a Four of Swords. That came into me as I will wait for the right one. I will walk away from somebody who will not fulfill my needs. I will, um, I will not waste my time. You will wait for the right one. And that is so important. It's like you, maybe that's the promise you, we said in the beginning. You made some kind of promise to yourself. What's the promise that you made to yourself? That my peace of mind comes first. That I, my happiness comes first. Bringing somebody, I'd rather be alone is, is how I feel. Like she looks so content. She looks happy. She has everything that she wants. And the nine of cups, you can see the cups are all behind her. And the reason why they're behind her is because she's already fulfilled those cups. There's things in her life that she's brought into her life, other relationships. She has um, self-love. 
She um, might love her career, her passions, you know, so there's a lot of things in her life that she is already very, very happy with. So the only thing she's missing is that 10th cup, which is that complete happiness. So she's w willing to wait. It's this the wait. I will wait for the right one. And if you're in agreement with me, I, I, I would rather you wait for the right one than be with the wrong one. Claim it. Own it. You know, like you're willing to wait for the right one, you know, because that's that's showing me that you love yourself and you're going to put yourself first. I have a five of pentacles. Even if you have to go through hard times as a single person, I know I've been there. Single mother, two kids having hard times. When you do it by yourself, you think, I can't do it by yourself, but God gives you the strength to do it by yourself. You know, somehow you are better off by yourself than, than being with the wrong person. So spirit will give you the right, the strength until the right person comes along. King of Wands, Queens of, Queen of Wands. Thank you, spirit. That this feeling of, you know what? We both want the same thing, Okay. We both are totally into each other. We both have worked really hard to create a life outside of a relationship that's stable, that's secure, that is healthy. And then when we find each other, we can combine forces, so to speak, and we can grow together. And that passion that connects us is built on a strong foundation is how it's coming into me. So we've got this beautiful... I feel passionate about you. I'm excited about you. Um, we want to be together, but we want to be together for the right reasons. We don't want to be with just anybody, Spirit had said. And you know what? No matter what, Spirit's going to give you strength at the bottom of my deck. You know, if, if we have hard times and we feel like we're doing it alone, it, it's okay. It's okay just for today because Spirit is giving you you know, the courage and the strength and, and determination to, to be happy even when you're single. That's okay. I have a 10 of pentacles. Look at the abundance flowing in. Like when you're with the right person, I have a nine of pentacles. You know, it, it's, it's just this feeling of when I'm with the right person, I, I'm going to keep going back to if it's not the right person, I'm going to wait for the right one because this security and, and it's not just money. It's not how much money you have in the bank. You know, financial security could be I don't have to worry about a roof over my head or a mortgage payment or where am I going to live tomorrow? Um, it, financial security is a sense of my job isn't going anywhere because I get up and I go to work every day, you know, so you bring that to the table and so does your person. And that's what I want you to focus on today. That part of, we, we ask spirit for somebody who's finding, um, emotionally available a lot, right? We ask spirit. I, I want the person who's emotionally available, if they're not financially um, available or they're not financially secure, I should say, they are not going to be emotionally available. So I, I like that spirit sharing with us today that the person coming into your life um, is secure and has something to offer. OK, and I don't know how much wealth they have, but it's not something that you're going to be worried about. Let's see what spirit has for us. What are these messages? I want to have kids with you. Is this somebody that I could see myself raising a family? You have kids. They have kids. Can we can we combine forces and and have a better life for all of us? You know, something along those lines. So definitely kids involved. I feel you are my soulmate. I love that. I always want my soulmate energy. You know, that's the emotions. You've got my heart. I can feel that you are capturing me. I want to give you the world, you know, I'm going to put that this material, you know, all this material energy into I want to give you the world. I want to make your life easier. I want you to have a beautiful home to live in. Um, I want to travel with you. I want us to be able to go out to dinner. I want us to buy healthy food and groceries and cook beautiful meals at home. You know, like what is it that this sense of security gives both of you? Okay. But they want you to feel safe. 
They want to provide and protect. It's a very, that's a very strong divine masculine energy is provide and protect. So we have somebody that is coming into your energy that wants to um, give that to you. I want to give you the world and I'm scared of this connection. Could be the best thing that's happened to either one of you. Nothing to be afraid of. You know, I would be more afraid if this person was trying to piece their life back together or they were pulling themselves out of a hole. Um, this is not what Spirit's sharing with me today. They're sharing with me somebody who's coming forward that that is is uh, stable and you can build a foundation with. Um, so therefore, they're going to be emotionally available. They're going to have the other areas in their life in place. And, and you know what? We want that. I can't picture my life without you. Now that you're in my life, I want you in my life. You are my sunshine and I'm planning a surprise. How about I can't wait to see you again? You know, something as sim simple as that. You know, I want to give you the world. I'm planning a surprise. I can't wait to see you. How about a, how about a nice date, an evening out, romantic, a, a romantic, uh, a romantic evening, you know, something like that. How about a you and me forever? <laughs> Somebody who commits. I think you're going to have it all. I think it's spirit's way of saying, yes, you're going to have the person who you are wild about and physically connected to. You're going to have the person who emotionally melts your heart, but you're also going to have the person who provides some stability in your life and grounds you and offers you something real. Okay. I'm going to offer you a future. I'm going to offer you something real. I'm planning a surprise for you. I'm already seeing a future with you. It's going to be a you and me forever. So let's put this out into the universe. Sometimes we just need to be reminded of the promises that you made to yourself, which I want you to think about. What is it that you really are deserving of and worthy of today? I want to thank Spirit for this reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you. Uh, thank you for hitting that like button. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. Thank you for comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please um, check out my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.